hi everyone how you guys doing i hope you all are doing fine welcome back to another video thank you for clicking on this video if you're new here my name is aladi ako i am an international student in the usa and in today's video i'm going to be updating you guys this is like a follow-up video to the previous video i posted about you know what has been happening with my academic journey being in the usa for the past three years not getting my degree and blah 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 so this is another follow-up and i'm going to be also sharing the results from the class i told you guys i was taking or i just completed last month and if you don't know what we are talking about right now i'm so sorry i'm going to put the video here so that you can go and watch it if you want to understand what this whole video is all about anyway guys um the first thing here today is i want to say thank you to everyone you know thank you for all the lovely comments it was it was really 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 uplifting reading those lovely comments you guys left there those beautiful comments thank you for letting me know that i am not alone you know thank you for all the encouragement and got to read um the stories of people who are in the same kind of like similar situation and i am sending you guys hugs i'm sending you um, light strength everything you need to get through this um situation it is not an easy one it's it's very sad you know seeing your mates graduate and you're not graduating taking longer than expected i just want to say that keep the the hope alive thank you guys just thank you for the love that video is currently the most popular video on my channel like i didn't expect it so thank you for the love and the next thing is i'm going to be addressing one um misconception i don't know what to call it in that video i mentioned that it is not common to be working full-time and schooling so i was saying that in terms of being an international student okay as an international student you're not even allowed to work full-time and go to school while i was able to do that is because of my thesis issues if you want to know the details i'll put a video here as well so that you can go check it out but i'm going to explain briefly um because i was set to complete my thesis december last year i think so that was why i was able to apply for my opt opt is what um optional practical training it gives um the student an opportunity to practice whatever they have studied for one year so that was what i did apply for and then i got it I, I was given a year you know to complete my education else you know i would not be able to renew for the next two years because i am a stem student technically as i got it in december i, I had to december this year to complete my academic um, requirements or whatever you want to call it else i will not be eligible to reapply i hope that answers your question so that was what made me to make that statement that case is usually an exception if that makes any sense another comment i want to address is someone asked um, how i am able or how i was able to pay for the extra semesters did my graduate teaching assistantship cover it no it didn't the last time i had like a proper teaching assistantship was um, spring 2020 and that was supposed to be my official last semester okay so and then for 2020 because i had completed because for you to be like a ta the ones that get the tuition reduction you can be a ta and not have tuition reduction okay don't get me wrong so if you want to if you're talking about the one that you know gets the tuition reduction then you have to be on a minimum of nine credits if i'm correct yes so because i had done all my classes at that time there was no reason for me to you know take up another nine credits just because i want that reduction no it was not wise so all i did was just to take two credits i was a part-time student for the remaining three semesters so the first four semesters i was a full-time student and then the last three semesters up to the summer i was a part-time student so i only took um two credits in for 2020 and those two credits i paid out of pocket i was a teaching assistant don't get me wrong but i was not the 
t teaching assistant that had the tuition reduction, if that makes any sense, okay? And um, yeah, that's basically what it was. I was just paid per hour. If I work 10 hours a week, I'll be paid for exactly 10 hours per week. So I was not on a stipend, like a regular stipend. Hopefully I have not confused you. And then for um, this year, which is spring 2021, I was also a part-time student. I took just two credits of thesis. I paid out of pocket as well. And then summer 2021, um, I took three credits and that was a, a class, a regular class. And then my project, which is another six credits. I didn't have to pay for that one because I had paid the previous semesters for the thesis. So, you know, I it was just a continuation. So I didn't pay for that one again. And um, now I hope that answers your question, okay? It was out of pocket and I was a part-time student. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I present the moment, the moment. So what's up, Aladi, you said you were taking a class. You know, what's, just tell us. Okay, so I'm going to be, I took screenshots. So for my first homework, I'm going to start from the first homework. I got 15 out of 15 points. Second one, 12 out of 15. The third one, 14 out of 15. The fourth one 15 out of 15 and then my project I got an A on the project and the project for that class so I got a message from my professor hi Aladi I've scanned over your final project and things look good I'll be giving you an A for the course and officially I've checked the the website like the school's website and I've checked my grade there is officially an A. And then for my thesis that was converted to a project, a software engineering project, you know, I told you guys about that as well in that video. The results are also out. It's either you get like an S or a U. I think S is satisfactory and U is, I don't know, I think, I can't, is it unsatisfactory? I don't know, I don't know. But not. I don't have any business with that because I got S, which is the satisfactory. So officially, I also got an email from the Dean of Graduate Education. Hello, Aladiada. It looks like you are just about done. Congratulations. And then she went ahead to explain some other stuff, which I don't think is necessary to read that out. But she wrote, here is a copy of your final audit where I've annotated the issue, blah, 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 with, I think um, the school, something is having issues. But then she said, don't worry, it won't hold up your degree. A final step is for you to complete the checkout sheet. I sent a copy to Dr. SYZ to get it started since he needs to fill out the top portion first. Warm regards, Dr. SYZ. So guys, uh, officially got an A in the class and then an S for my project, which is satisfactory. Meaning I passed, okay? Guys, I kid you not, this past three years, it has just been emotionally, I don't know, damaging. I don't know what to use, but it's just, it's just been a roller coaster you know, trying to settle in everything, the culture shock, trying to fit in, you know, you know, when I say fit in, not just necessarily trying to force yourself to become something you're not, but it's just, uh, it's just a whole lot being the only, you know, black student in, you know, in the building and, you know, just, it's, it's, it's just so hard. It's, it's very hard. And I, I've, ne I've not been myself, but after I completed this thing and the result came out, you know, it's just been, God, finally this happened. Lord, I give you all the praise. You know, is this me? A am I really here without any problem? No class, like my weekends, I can have them to myself now, seriously. So, you know, the joy in my heart is, uh, is so full. Like I am so filled with joy right now. And I'm really grateful to my family, my friends, you know, people that have been here for me, the professors who have stood with me from the beginning till the end. I really am grateful for all of them. And yeah, and for you, my subscribers, you guys are the ones who always listen whenever I come here with my problems. 
you guys you never cease to amaze me I, I might not be able to reply to all the comments or everything but I try as much as possible you know I try my best to reply as many as I can so I'm really really like excited for this next phase of my life I'll be finally sharing my graduation video soon watch out for that so guys I mean my life it's about to begin so i'm really 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 thankful for everything i don't know you guys it, it's been a journey it's been a real big journey so i should just wait till um, the graduation video maybe i can express myself better i think once i get the actual degree and the transcripts the official one everything i'm going to be making the video reacting to all the classes i've taken all my computer science classes and you know yeah every in fact all the classes i've taken literally and my grades i'm going to reveal them and then my final cgpa do you want to see that video do you want to know what aladi will finally be graduating with i think i kind of have an idea because i have the <laughs> i have access to the unofficial one so when it's in my hands like when i get the physical copy it says it's going to take about um 10 to 12 weeks i think the last time i i got an email from the school that's what they told me so once we get that envelope that has the degree and everything we will come here and share it so guys um i want to say thank you guys thank you so much like thank you thank you thank you for all your support i see your comments and thank you as well for 10,000 subscribers i want to use this opportunity to let you guys know in order to celebrate 10,000, you know, also to celebrate, you know, the love you guys are showing me, um, a group of international students and myself, we are planning to host a virtual event where you can come and, you know, it's going to be on Zoom. I don't know if I'll be able to stream it here on YouTube as well, but it's going to be on Zoom. And then we're going to have guest speakers who are going to talk to, you know, prospective students and current students you come all of you are invited like you invited come with all your questions start preparing them you're going to meet with other international students you're going to um you know this is an opportunity for you to network and grab your friends you know make connections okay so um the event is going to be i think i have the flyer i'm going to put the flyer on the screen but let me find it here so this meet and greet this is like the first copy of the this is like i don't know let's call it appetizer <laughs> or save the dates kind of so the f the first one will be on the 18th and the second one will be on the 25th of september and everything is going to be 4 p.m west africa time and um you know it's going to be on zoom i'm going to be so stay close to this channel and my instagram because i'm going to be announcing um the dates the no not the date the, the link the link to the zoom meeting and everything so yeah just stay tuned and um, you get more updates from me so save the dates 18th and 25th of september is gonna be ball ball okay thank you guys for watching today's video i really do appreciate your support and i remain your host aladi ako see you next <laughs> what did i say see you in my next video thank you bye hey guys welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing well thank you so much for clicking on this video hey everyone how you all doing i hope you all are doing fine hey everyone how you all doing i hope you all are doing fine welcome back hi everyone how are you guys doing i hope you all are doing fine